today you're going to go like, um, <gasps> and hopefully during the message I can bring you to a, uh -huh. okay. So first up on the board I would like you to look at John 4 verse 13 to 14. Somewhere in the Bible Jesus sat on the side of a well and a lady walked up to me and said, hey, Something to that matter. <laughs> and he talked and he said to her, Listen, if you drink of this water, you'll live forever. He wasn't talking about the water he got from the well, he was talking about the gospel, the word. And God is the word. If you talk about water in the Bible, biblically, spiritually, it is the word of God, it is the gospel, it's Jesus himself, it's love, it's grace. That's what water is all about. And that's not the only verse, there's quite a few. Revelations 21.6, Hebrews 10.22, Isaiah, Samuel, Amos, there's quite a few places in the Bible where you can see where water is talking, when they're talking about water, they're talking about the love and the grace and the gospel. They're talking about God Himself because He is the Word. Right? Still going like a yeah. comedian? Uh, yeah. Let's talk about animals. Proverbs 6, 6. Now they use the word sluggard. Now the real translation actually refers to the sloth. Don't be like a sloth, be like an ant. There's so many um, places in the Bible where they're talking about animals where we are like animals. You know, you know people like animals, you know, like a giraffe, you know, I'm in your business. <laughs> Mostly I'm like a bear with a salt toe at home, like, you know? You see, yeah, Africa, there we go. If people have left, that's like Ryan, as they just form a conversation, or like, yeah, this is my opinion, I don't want to hear what you say. You know? People like snakes, and not poisoning you with falsehoods, poisoning you with, with untruths. They just, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The Bible refers to people being like animals all the time. I've got 15 down here, serpent stung, serpent sting, being like a deer or doe, like an ass, like, I mean, like a donkey, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like wild donkeys. Cool. Still like an... Okay, let's talk about perishables. If you type in the word perishable and you search the Bible, it always refers to man. The perishable body. You are perishable, I'm perishable, but what's inside lives forever. That's not perishable. So what else is perishable? We're talking about wood. Look at the cross. The cross is perishable. But what happened on the cross? That's forever. So wood, wood goes away. It's perishable like you, like me. We go away. We are perishable. Still like an... Uh... Okay, put the three together. Let's talk about water, animals, and wood. What do you get? Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark. Thank you, Sally. <laughs> Noah's Ark. Think about it. You've got water, you've got wood, you've got animals. Look at Genesis 7, verse 16. 7, verse 16. Read the last bit. And the Lord shut him in. Now you can go like <gasps> Communion takes me closer to God. We started taking communion two months ago every single morning. I am closer to God. I am really close to God. He's closer to me. Let's get back to Noah's Ark. What happened when Noah had all the animals in the ark? God shut the door. There's one translation that said that Noah shut the door, but it's not true. God shut the door after all the animals were inside the ark. Think about this. If you have all the animals inside, you're not roaming free. You don't have a snake up. You don't poke your nose in other people's business. You don't have strong ideas. You don't have a sore toe at home being angry all the time. You've got all your animals inside of you. What's going to happen? God's going to close the door that will allow you to float on top of His Word. Him, He is the Word. His love, His grace. You pull your animals in, 
You, you know your animal. I know mine. Mine's the bear with the sword's out. Okay. But it's easier for me now to bring that animal in because he's closer to me. He's shutting the door behind me. He's making me able to float on his word, which is himself, his love, his grace. That's what's communion doing to me. I'm talking to him every single morning. We forgot yesterday we ran home, we did it again. Not because it's a religious thing, because we made a promise to him. I'm obedient to him because we made a pact with him. We're going to do it every single day to get closer to him so they get closer to me. It's so much easier for me to reel in my animals. When I'm angry, you can ask him, it's easier for me to say sorry. It's easier for Celeste to come back to me. She's a teenager. <laughs> So it's easier for her to come back and say sorry for what she did. It's easier for us to reel back our animals. He's closing the door behind us. We are on top of our faith. We're on top of His Word. We're on top of His love, His grace. We will live. That's what's communion doing to me, for me, for us. To say, oh, get on with me. <laughs> for us as a family. So when we take the communion today, think about your animal that's preventing God from closing the door behind you to enable you to float on top of His grace, His love, and His word. We all have an animal, maybe to maybe I'll zoom. Uh, it's up to you. It's between you and God. So take your communion. Think about your animal. Do what you need to do. Forgive. Really, animals, and you will feel Him close the door behind you. So that you can flow with his love and his grace. Anybody else for the communion? You. Did, did we get it? Ah. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, you up for some communion? Yes. All right, let's do this thing. This is too black, my friend.
Now, sometimes that animals can be dinosaurs as well. Thanks for reminding me, Red. Okay, so if you're ready, you can take that piece of bread, put it in your mouth. Crunch down on it and listen to that sound. That's what his body, the same sounds made when he was crushed and he was hanging on that cross. It was an awful day for him, but he did it for you. His love did it for you. When you drink the juice to wash the crumbs away, same way you wash them away your sins. Thank him for it and remember him what you did on the cross that day. Remember him. Get close to him. Think about your animal what you really want to get inside. Wash it away. And accept him in your life. Thank you, guys. Now we're going to get the pockets ring. Yeah.